The assault of a University of Michigan student is being investigated as a case of ethnic intimidation because of a question the victim says he was asked right before the attack. Thanks for being with us here at 6. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Devin Skillian. Topping our news tonight, an incident that has the attention of police, elected officials, and the president at the university, to name just a few. A young man told police he was approached near Hill and South Forest uh, near East Quad and asked if he was Jewish, then was attacked when he said yes. Victor Williams has been talking to students and state leaders about the incident. Victor, some folks out there are understandably shaken up about this. Absolutely, Kimberly and Devin. You know, the police say that that attack happened right here at this intersection behind me. And unfortunately, because of that, you have one student that's here on campus who says that's a safety concern, wondering if the people responsible are still here. It's really scary and also as a Jewish person at the school I feel even more scared because I'm worried about whether or not I can be openly Jewish on my campus. Walking around U of M's campus just isn't the same for Abigail Kooten after a student was allegedly attacked all because he was Jewish. I also worry about, you know, it's so close to our classes and it's close to where we walk around and I'm worried like I don't we haven't found the people who um, beat this individual up and whether or not they are planning a second attack. According to reports, the 19 year old student says he was walking around campus around 1245 AM on Saturday when he was approached by a group that asked him if he was Jewish. When he said yes, that's when the attack allegedly began. Representative Noah Arbit is outraged. As a Jew, I take it personally and as a state legislator, um, I take it seriously as a as a policy matter for the state of Michigan. Representative Arbit has personally worked on combating these types of attacks with the Michigan Hate Crime Act. Although police are still looking for the group responsible for the attack before running away, Representative Arbit has a message for them all. We will find you. Uh, and we will make sure that you uh, are not only not on campus anymore, uh, but that you aren't in a position to do that to any other person or human being ever again. I hope that they're also, the school is taking the time to take care of mental health of the students and that I hope that that person is also okay. Now, the president of the university, Santa Ono, is not so happy about this. He did send over the following statement, which in part reads, quote, We urge anyone with knowledge about the incident to share it with DPSS or the Ann Arbor Police Department. In turn, we will ask that perpetrators be held accountable for their actions. We stand firmly against anti-Semitism and all bias-motivated behavior. And on top of that, the Anti-Defamation League, they're now offering a $5,000 reward for anyone who has information that leads to an arrest. Live in Ann Arbor, Victor Williams, Local 4. Okay, Victor, thank you.